technology is stupid. Hey everybody, it's me YouTube. What? <laughs> Hello my children, it's Briar Love here. I know y'all have been waiting for my final Briarfest video, but in Kentucky I only brought with me one memory chip, so on the first two days of Briarfest I used all my memory up, so I had to use my cell phone that has crappy quality, so um, I could not upload the final episode. But on the bright side, um, today's video is going to be dedicated to the model horses I got at Briarfest. I know y'all have been asking for this kind of video for a while, I've just been so caught up with all my things and uh, a new annoying little creature. So let's go ahead and get started with showing you the models I got at Briarfest 2014. In order to avoid spoilers, I will be showing you the individual horses one at a time. Alright, so the first horse that we're going to take a look at is a Peter Stone, a custom Peter Stone that I found in the Sheraton. Peter Stone was having an event there, I just can't remember which one it was, but it was a full ballroom just filled with Peter Stone models, and this is the girl that I picked up. She is indeed customized to be a mare, so she is indeed a mare. Um, she was a pretty penny, so it hurt to buy her, but I'm so glad in the end that I did because she's absolutely gorgeous. Let me go ahead and see if I can get some of her dappling. Like, there's some of her dappling in her eyes. They're so soft, and I love her. Okay, so the next horse I picked up was at the Clarion Hotel. I did get Rushmore. Surprisingly, I was not expecting to get a Rushmore this year, but I did. He has gorgeous dappling and everything. I love his little face, it's adorable. Also in the room sales, I got an Alborozo, new in box, I just couldn't bear to keep him in the box. <laughs> but he is one of my holy grails and I've been looking for him literally since day one, or um, since the very first day that he came out in 2008. So he's a 2008 celebration horse. Okay, so this year I only got four special runs, which was saddening to me, but whatever. <laughs> but um, I got Platinum Star. I kind of cheated a little bit when I got him. I traded a lady for a Bay Pop the Cork, since I got two of them. So she wanted the Bay Pop the Cork, and she already had two other Platinum Stars. So I said, okay, let's make a deal. And that's how I got this guy. I did get a Bonafet, or however you pronounce his name. He is gorgeous. I don't know why people do not like him. I know that his legs are a little out of proportion, but he is gorgeous. I love him. I'm so glad that I got him. Um, he's the first horse that I have on this mold, and I intend to uh, collect the other molds that Briar comes out with, hopefully. Hopefully regular runs, so I don't become broke and have to live in a box. <laughs> but he's gorgeous. I love him. His little appy marks are adorable. Again, another room sales buy. I got the JC Penny special run that came with the um, Andalusian Stallion in full. I did not get the Stallion or the full, but I picked this girl up. Despite her old dappling methods, I think she is really charming and her little face is adorable. Okay, so of the two Pop the Corks, I got the Paint and the Bay. So let's go ahead and look at the Paint Horse first, or the darker Paint Horse. Um, I'm really glad that I got him because the first two tries of getting a pop the cork, I both got bays, and I was really upset, but I wanted two different ones, and he's gorgeous. I love him. Alright, so here's the bay. The bay probably has to be my favorite of the two because, I don't know, like something about bays I just love. Again, his eyes are a little stupid if I can focus on them, but he's still a cutie pie. Now here's the model that is very near and dear to my heart, because all of you guys signed it. There's Foxy's name right there in silver. Okay, some people said that her signature looked like Tom, but it's okay, Foxy. I love your signature. It's gorgeous. <laughs> all of y'all signed this wonderful model that I picked up last minute. <laughs> Let's see if I can give a shout out to some people. Somebody signed my horse's arse. Thank you very much. <laughs> And there's Miss Beauty Love. The Bay. It's my Bay. Oh, I also got Chloe Kurtz. Hello there. 
I got My Froggy Stuff and Briar Ozzy. BM Briars from Instagram. Briar Fever. Saddle Up Jackson. Zenyatta Racehorse. Some other people there too. Let's see if I can find 80. Again, another butt signing. Thank you for that. <laughs> I got Totalus or Tortillas. Tortillas is what I'm going to call them. And uh, my friend Brittany, um, she got him for me. And I thank you so much. He's gorgeous. Like, I love this mold. Definitely looking forward to Briar putting out more on this mold if they do. Okay, so, alright, so I did get a Briar resin. Um, this horse was actually the very first horse that I got at Briar Fest. It's the Dakota, or Dakota, yeah, Dakota resin. The Rocky Mountain horse and she's really really pretty and I'm very happy that I got her. I got quite a few vintages this year. I'm actually going to start collecting vintages so um, in addition to the regular runs and the normal modern briars but something about vintages I really like. Um, the tack I did not get at Briar Fest. I had it for a while but I was playing dress up with him and I think he looks really good in English tack. He is probably my favorite mold I think he is sandstone, sandstone, I think. Alright, so we got another vintage guy, or girl, I think. But she is really pretty, and she is definitely going to be in my movies as well. So look out for her. Alright, so here's the celebration horse. I was not happy with the celebration horse at all. I did not like him. I mean, it's a pretty model, but it's nothing, uh, cover your ears. It's nothing special, quite honestly. It's just a glossy gopher with brown eyes. Like, come on, Briar. That kind of made me mad, but it's okay. But he's alright. I mean, I'm, I'm glad that I did get him, because I like glossy horses, but other than that, eh. I also got a few foals, and my mom did too. She's going to actually start collecting foals, like the Briar horse foals and ponies and stuff. This little guy I found in a body box, new in box, and there's not a scratch on him. He is so adorable. I love this mold. Family Arabian foal or Proud Arabian foal. I can't remember which one it was, but he's adorable and I'm glad that I got him. I got this guy for three bucks in one of the room sales and I said, he needs a new home because he's adorable. He's a suckling colt. Okay, so here's another set of foals. The top two are the ones that my mom got because she had a mold like this or a color like this when she was younger. We have movement from my dog. Poor baby, she's blind and deaf. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so the top two are my mom's. They're really pretty and they're glossy. Palomino Arabian foals. And then this guy... I can't not remember what his name is, but I had a body version of him that my friend has currently. I still need to get back from her, but I got a newer, cleaner one, and he's so cute. Alright, I did get a Maggie Bennett uh, Micro Mini Resin, but I painted him myself. I just got the raw casting and I fixed him up. got a few stable mates. Um, I got these two just because and I got those at the stable mate painting. I got two traditional bodies at um, Briar Fest or technically three but one's not a briar. Um, this guy I've already started to work on. Um, it was the Western Pleasure Horse and I let's see that made him into like an English pleasure trotting horse. And then I got this guy. He has so much character and I'm hoping that I can use him in my series because I really like his little buzz cut right there and then the rest of it's just main and he's very cute. He was in a body box at the Sheraton for the... Do you mind? <laughs> what are you doing? The boxes that they had at the... Whoa! What are you doing? Okay, before I get off topic again. This horse was in the is one is blah, 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 sorry 
This horse was in one of the four body boxes at the Sheraton Hotel for that Peter Stone event. And Peter Stone decided that they didn't like him, apparently. They started him, and they didn't finish him. Okay, so this year I did get a resin. Here he is. I really like him. He is absolutely gorgeous. This is his other side. His eyes are a little high on his head, but that's okay. I'm not going to be showing him anyway. All in all, these are all of my horses that I got at Briarfest. That's a little dragon that I got at Comic Con, but whatever. <laughs> He's not part of this. But I did get all of these horses at Briarfest, and I'm very grateful. I'd like to give a shout out to everybody who came up to me and said hi, and we hung out. Especially Baby Penny 9. Go check her out right now. She's an amazing person, and I love her to death. So thanks guys for watching, and I hope to see y'all soon. Bye!